Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how to barbecue a chicken. Now, when I barbecue my chickens, it's it's not anything just rocket. It's not rocket science. What I want to say is, it's pretty simple. Now, I cook mine in halves. Uh, I like to buy whole chickens, more uniform in size, and I use a six-inch chef's knife to process my chickens. And uh, what I do is, is I just kind of take them, and I'm going to cut right down the backbone. Get a good sharp knife. Works really easy. We're just cutting kind of down the rib cage. And that chicken's opened up. I'm going to split him in the middle. And I'm going to take out this kill bone right here. Right there. And then I'm going to cut down the kill bone. Don't worry about the wishbone up here in the top. You can take that out if you want to. Um, sometimes I do. I guess it depends on the mood I'm in. But I just cut through it once again. I try to leave as little meat as I can on the kill bone. And the reason I take out the backbone and the kill bone is, is so that the chicken will cook more uniformly. If there's any big fat here on this back end, which a lot of times there are, I trim that off. And you can see a little bit on this one right here. And there we go. We got four halves ready to go in the pit. I'm going to take them now and I'm just going to kind of pat them dry. I always pat my chickens dry. That skin's dry when it goes in that oven. I think it crisp up a little bit more. Now it's hard to get that crispy skin you're looking for. But again, not an easy process. No rocket science to cooking chicken. Uh, mustard. I use mustard as a binder on my chickens. Uh, really doesn't matter what kind. I am just of the old type. If I'm the one buying and I'm walking down the aisle, I grab the French's. I guess it's just habit. Don't know if it's necessarily any better than all the others. I saw Heinz the other day had a commercial where they had redone their mustard. I guess trying to catch up with mustard sales with French's. But anyways, just a little bit. doesn't take a lot. And I'm just going to smooth this, make sure I get it on my thigh. And I just smooth it on to all my chickens. I don't want any big blobs of mustard. And I tell you what, you cannot taste this. For you that do not like mustard, you cannot taste it. My sister hates mustard. Does not like it at all. First time she had my chicken, she was like, oh gosh, I don't like mustard. But then once she ate it, she realized that she couldn't taste it. That it simply was a binder and it, the flavor really doesn't come through. Okay, they're ready to sauce. Let me wash my hands off. Alright, now I have my chickens rubbed down. I'm going to lay them skin side down, bone side up. And I'm going to coat these. Make sure you get the skin out of the way so that you can get seasoning on the back side of that drumstick. Plenty of seasoning up inside of it. And this is my own seasoning. It's what I use. I use this on my chicken. I use this on my pork. Something I came up with here a while back. I like it really well. People seem to enjoy my my chicken. So, no gripes yet. So, I'm going to keep using it until somebody starts complaining, I guess. Anyways, lift up the wing. That way we get the underside of the wing, the breast up under the wing. And don't go real heavy. But here we go again. Make sure we get under the wing. All right. The nice uniform coating. Lift him up. Okay. Flip this guy around. This coat underneath his wing. Lift him up a little bit. 
And there we go. Chicken's ready to go on the pit. All right, I'm going to get my chickens on here. And this is a pit maker barbecue vault. If you've never seen one before. And the, the hot spot, I would say, is, is right where the heat comes into the pit. It comes in the back at the top. And what I'm going to do is, I put my chickens butt toward the heat. And I let them get good and hot that way. The breast isn't quite in as much heat. But they're on there. They're ready to go. One thing I do also is, if you look, I have a pan underneath my chickens. And this pan, not only to catch the grease coming off our chickens, but also it's my um, it's a humidifier for the pit. I put a little water in those pans. Helps keep some humidity up in the pit. But they're on. We're going to let them cook for about hour and a half and we ought to have some really nice chickens coming off the pit all right let's check these chickens see how they're looking they've been on there about 45 minutes pull them out starting to get some nice color to them let's see what the temp is sitting about 135 degrees yep they're all pretty uniform oh well one's up front 144 142. Alright, let's put them on there. Gonna add a little wood to it. Let them smoke a little bit more. And then we will uh, see what else happens. Alright, these chickens are looking pretty. Let's see what the temperature is on them. 166. And 169. It's about 172. So anyways, all the chickens are looking good. We're going to pull them off, get them sauced, put them back on here so that we can set our sauce on them. Okay, chickens are done. They do have a nice color to them. And we can honestly can serve them just like that. But I like to put a little of my sauce on here. Not a whole lot. Just enough to glaze the top of it. It's going to give us a nice, sweet, yet a little spicy flavor to it. Paint this up. That chicken is ready to get back on there. That one's done. Let's grab another one. And I'll tell you what, I only sauce the top. This puts a nice pretty sheen on them. And the reason for putting them back on the pit, again, is, is so we set the sauce. You may hear me, I always say, I mug candy up the sauce. It just dehydrates it a little bit, gets some of the liquid out, and it gets kind of a, a candied on there, but anyways, we'll get all the rest of these sauced up, get them back on the pit, we're going to let them sit for about 10 minutes, then we'll uh, pull them off and let y'all see them again. All right, let's check our chickens here, they've been on about 10 minutes, those are looking pretty. They're nice looking chickens. So we can get those off the pit. See how they turned out. There you go. Four halves. Beautiful color to them. They're nice sheen on them. They are gonna. They are gonna be great chickens today. Thanks for stopping by our barbecue stand today. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed our barbecue chicken video. If you, uh, you enjoyed it, go down there and give us a thumbs up. We always like to see that. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about it. And also, if you've never subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe Texas Style Cuisine. So hit the subscribe button down there also. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.